Tennis Shorts, How Rackets Are Born, presented by Wilson. The game's biggest names rely on the constant evolution in racket technology to gain that winning edge. Our commitment to the development of superior performing tennis rackets is really why we get up and, and come to work every day. All of the development that goes into Wilson's next generation rackets takes place at its innovation center. Central to the Wilson philosophy is dedication to the athlete. The main goal of the building is to go from concept to playable prototype in about two weeks. The eight-phase process starts with brainstorming. There are no bad ideas in a blue sky meeting. Computer drawings are done of the ideas with promise and sent to a specialized machine that makes a model. We're able to actually print out what we draw overnight and see it three-dimensionally. Throughout the process, cutting-edge technology is used to test every spec. We use a three-axis accelerometer, which takes measurements of how the racket is bending, how the string bed is reacting. The designs that survive these steps are made into prototypes. While a mold is drilled, the tooling is made to within 10 thousandths of an inch accuracy. Carbon fiber is cut into strips in the layup room. We take a bladder, which is like a balloon, and we wrap the carbon fiber around it. Every racket has a unique recipe to it. The thin tube of material is pressed into the mold and actually baked in an oven. Heat, pressure, and time yields the final racket shape. The prototypes are then play tested. Play testing gives us feedback that we can't get in the lab environment. What we've learned through those processes has translated into better playing product for tennis players of all skill levels. State-of-the-art high-speed video is also used to study every nuance of performance. The racket ball impact is about a three millisecond event, and we have a camera system that allows us to slow it down to 5,000 frames per second. But perhaps most surprising is the fact that the entire process is extremely hands-on. The common misconception is that the rackets are made by a machine. They're handmade. This tennis short has been presented by Wilson, number one in tennis.